This is Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom, words on leadership, goal-setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. I trust that you'll consider this as your vitamin and supplement for your mind and heart. And wherever you receive podcasts from, would you please subscribe to Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom? Leave a rating and a brief written review. It will help others to be able to locate this podcast. Hey, I'd love to talk to you. I'm looking for the next level leader, some who are stuck and need a little encouragement and coaching. I'd love to talk with you. Get on my calendar. Go to drronblake.com forward slash call, drronblake forward slash call, and I'll get on the phone and come and call you and talk to you for 30 minutes, see if there's any possibility of us working together. Today, I want to talk to you about getting started. There's great books out there on on getting started. Many people, it's sort of like Newton's law, uh, when a body not in motion will stay that way, but a body in motion will stay in motion. It's sort of momentum and moving ahead. And oftentimes, the most difficult thing you or I face is just getting started. Everyone who's listening to the sound of my voice has something that you know you need to do. A project, a chore, a promise, a phone call, a note, an email, or a text that needs to be delivered. And we have done our best to procrastinate to not do it. We know to get ahead in whatever field of endeavor that we are presently involved with that we need to start by maybe finishing um, a project, going back to school, honing some skills that we need to develop. We all have those things. Now, in a future podcast, I'm going to also talk about finishing because in most of our lives, there are a lot of things lying around that were started, started well, started with good intentions, but we lost our focus, lost momentum, and never did complete them. You can't complete something until you start it, but you do have to complete what you start. So let's just begin. Whatever the task, the issue, the problem, the situation that uh, unfinished project that you do need to complete, that, that thing that you know right now to be where you need to be, you need to get it done. Let's talk about how do we get started. And the very first thing is start the task small. Now, there may be what you need to do isn't complicated or difficult. It's uncomfortable. Perhaps there's someone you're out of sorts with or you've broken the relationship, or the relationship has been broken, or you just know it's uncomfortable. And so it's not that it is an overly involved or difficult situation. It's just finding the courage and uh, forcing yourself, taking yourself by your own collar, and shaking yourself and saying, today is the day you have to do that. Uh, Oftentimes, there will be some of you who have fairly large and complicated projects that you need to work on. And one of the biggest difficulties you have right now is how do I begin? Where do I begin? Where Where is the starting point? How do I break it down? We'll talk at that. But just start small. Um, if you need to go to the gym or you need to start exercising, Perhaps the best thing to do is to put on your tennis shoes and walk around the block. Start small, but start moving in the right direction. Start going where you want. You see, if you go to Newton's law that a body at rest tends to stay at rest and a body in motion uh, tends to stay in motion, just remember this, a little action on your part will birth momentum. I I oftentimes find people who are trying to tell me that they've lost the momentum. They they don't seem to have the energy to continue on and to complete and to do that item which needs to be done. 
that that's why you start small. Don't start with, I'm going to finish this project by noon or by tomorrow I will have it all wrapped up with a beautiful bow on top that's unrealistic and it's impossible if it's in any way large a situation that you're tackling. But, but start the task small. You don't have any momentum. So, and, and trying an enormous effort, that this is beyond willpower for most of us. It really is the law of momentum. And so the way to recapture momentum is just to start small. And, and here's what happens. When you begin the small task, for instance, if you're exor- going to exercise and you decide that you're going to walk around the block, well, when you've gone to the effort and you've walked around the block, you think, well, you know, if I walk one block, I could rock two. And if I walk two, I could maybe walk four today. You won't capture any momentum or forward progress until you start. And so as to not overwhelm yourself or to defeat yourself before you even begin, start the task, make it small. Now, the second thing that I'm going to mention may seem an odd place for me to point this out or to place it here, but that is simply if you do a small task successfully, or even if it's a task of I need to call my mother, I need to call my brother, I need to call um, my neighbor, and you do that, you just force yourself to do that, reward yourself. Now, I don't mean a trip around the world or even necessarily go spend the week at Disney World. But I'm saying if there's a, a something you'd like to watch on television, um, if for you a good way to get away is to read a chapter in a book, um, if it's to go for a walk, if it's to um, make your favorite meal, doesn't matter what it is. But once you begin to take the proper actions and you start building momentum, it's okay to reward yourself. Now, the third thing I want you to think about is, right now, get started. You cannot begin until you begin. Can't start until you're starting. Right now, you, you can wait around till everything is perfect and the stars are aligned and everything is for you. But if you wait for that, you will never get started. Taking action is what counts. Not good intentions, not writing lovely notes, not getting a planner, not finding three apps to put on your phone to help you be more productive. That's all a nice exercise. But taking action is what counts. No one is really interested in what you know or how pure your intentions are. Taking action is what people are going to judge you by. That's how your work is going to be evaluated. Not all that you intended to get done, not all that you talked about doing, but the action that you took. I would say if you're really struggling in this area, having a difficult time beginning, do less than you think you can. You can always add on more, but don't at the beginning just pile so much on that it overwhelms you and becomes counterproductive and you don't get anything done. Do a little bit less than you think you can when you're getting started. Again, this all ties in to the fact that once you begin to take action, and including a small action, momentum works out. It just begins to appear. And then I would say, if you're going to put your tennis shoes on, if if your goal is to exercise and either go to the gym or walk around the block, work on consistency. It would be better to walk around the block for a week than to walk walk a mile once a year. Work on consistency. It is the things that we do consistently that become a part of who we are. That's why building habits, James Clear's book, Atomic Habits, Charles Duhigg's book, uh, Habit Stacking, work on consistency. And for instance, I don't ever have to write on a list 
I don't ever have to make a note. Make sure you brush your teeth in the morning. Make sure you brush your teeth before bed. They have become such internalized habits and modes of operating in my life that I do them unconsciously. So the reason is, as a youngster, I was encouraged to do it and I worked on it consistently. Um, enlist support. If you're going to sequester yourself away to work on a project, let the people at work or at your home know, say, hey, I will, I will come back. We will, we will do this and that. But give me 20 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, whatever the time frame is. Please help me to get this done. En enlist support. There's where your apps and other kinds of things can come in and other kind of tools uh, that you would like to have. Um, you can't plan for everything that may happen. Or if you try to plan for everything, in essence, you'll never, ever get started. Now, the next thing that I want to highlight for you may sound somewhat negative, and that is when you're going to take action, begin to change some things in your life, work on something. We, we've talked about this a little bit in previous podcasts, and that is you need to sit down and count the cost. Is what you are endeavoring to do something that you are really legitimately committed to? And then consider... Um, the consequence. And oftentimes I even ask those who are closest to me when I have a course of action that I'm pursuing and I've thought and dreamed and prayed and thought about it again. I'll ask some folks who are closest to me. I'll, I'll play out the scenario. I will tell them what my intentions are and what at this moment I plan on trying to do and what I'm going to try to execute as well as uh, in regard to a plan. And I ask them, as an unemotional observer, would you be paying attention if there is some unintended consequence to this action that I'm not aware of? Many times there have been great projects and plans that I've had over the years, but I wasn't aware, as I should have been, of some of the unintended consequences. Now, don't allow that to paralyze you into inaction. You and I cannot plan out every eventuality that may happen regarding something, but, but at least consider it. Um, planning ahead. Once you begin to take small actions, again, if it's a simple task that I need to make a phone call and apologize, I re need to write a thank you note, uh, those are simply executed. I I'm at this point thinking more about projects at work or at home uh, plans for self-improvement uh, that, are, that are going to take uh, a, a lot of action or some steps. Uh, you, you need to plan ahead again. Don't use perfectionism as an excuse for never getting started. Everyone, there are some folks who are waiting for everything to be right and for all the preparation to be done and for them to take care of every eventuality. And the problem is, it falls into the category of good intentions. Nothing is ever completed or done. And then remember that planning is, is like a blueprint. There are times when you're building something that you, you have to, as you work farther into it, say, we, we want to change this plan. We want to, to make an, an adjustment there. And I know as you sit down and try to work some of these things out that we're talking to, I, I've often been there where the blank page that I'm going to write down what my dream, my plan, my goal, my vision, how I plan to break this project down into bite-sized pieces and the blank page. I know it's impossible for an inanimate object like a piece of paper to stare back at you, but I've, I've looked at those blank um, pages and it, it really is an empty space. Change your, your mindset that the blank page really is an empty space it is really a piece of paper brimming with potential. It is, in essence, a masterpiece in the making. I just need, I just need to begin. I think the thing that I would end all of this with is you have to know and have a conviction that the course of action that you're taking at this moment regarding a plan or a project or course of action 
You have to be convinced deep down in your heart that this is the right thing. You have to have a conviction that what I am doing is important. I have told people over the years, if you want your people to catch a cold, leader, you have to have pneumonia. My challenge for you, my leadership friends today is just get started. Quit waiting, quit making excuses, begin right now. You've been listening to Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom, words on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. I trust that today this has been like a vitamin or a supplement for your mind and heart. And please subscribe to Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom. I'd love to talk to you. Get on my calendar, drronblake.com forward slash call. If you go to drronblake.com, my webpage, you'll see there's a link to my blog. And I have a few blog articles over the years on this very subject of getting started. Remember, my leadership friend, you are doing better than you think you are. You really are. And until next time, this is Dr. Ron saying to you, have a great and blessed day. 